How did Tacos Los Altos get its name? Okay, we got their name after my daddy because my father was born in San Miguel, El Alto, Jalisco, from uh, it's a region from Mexico, and my husband chose that name because, uh, like I said, we're we're pursuing my hus my my father's uh, dream. Tacos Los Altos, Los Altos are Mexico, a small town in Mexico. That's where my father is from. And that's how we got the name after my daddy, on his honor. All my employees, they're not uh, really employees. I should not call them employees because we're all like brothers and sisters. We're all one family. And we all treat ourselves like family. They're not, lad, you know, like related. We're not related at all. But to me, they are because they have been with me for such a long time. They're very loyal, very faithful, and they love what they do, just like me. You know, they, they people that go into a business, food business, they have to like what they, they, uh, they need to really love what they're doing. Or, you know, if not, uh, things will not come out good. Everything that you do in the kitchen, like I said, you know, it's, it needs to be made with love, you know, and uh, if anybody's angry and they're going to make an egg or an enchilada, you know, they throw the enchilada and they're angry and everything's going to, you know, break and come look and looking ugly, you know, and like I said, you know, I think food has feelings, you know, if you make it with nice, tender and love and treat it like love, with love, everything's going to come out perfect and tasting good. Now this is my original Jalisco style, and it is different. You know, like I said, you know, everybody else is it's good. It's food. It's good food. Like I said, my food is supposed to be the totally different. They want everything on it, and it's uh, chicken breast, lettuce, tomato, onion, jalapeno, avocado, and fries on the side. And this is how I make my torta. I make sure that nothing falls up. Set it up and wrap it up. And ready to be eaten. That's my torta. I can honestly say that I've never had bad food here, ever. This is my favorite thing, though. The salad torta. At Tago, Los Altos, I always come eat here twice of the, a week. The food is awesome, the service is good. Today I have pasoa, it's my favorite dish. It's plump, yeah, this is awesome. It's like, it's not spicy at all. It looks like it'd be spicy, but it's like really, really meaty and like, this corn in here is perfect, it goes perfect with it. Like I said, perfect hangover cure, man. <laughs> perfect hangover cure right here. Oh, si, la comida está muy rica. Vengo aquí muy seguido. Mientras esté aquí, voy a venir porque me gusta. My daddy taught me how to make tacos. My mom made me how to cook food. My sister, my Yuki, my older sister. And it's actually really nice. You know, and I said, uh, if I'm gonna do something in life, I have to do some tacos. Tacos, tacos. <laughs> oh my, uh, everything that I have been doing and I'm doing up to the prison right now is because um, I got inspired by my mom, my grandma. My whole family has always been into uh, the food industry business, not here, but in Mexico. But I did learn from them, and it was my daddy's, it was actually my daddy's uh, dream to have a taqueria kind of like this one that I have right now. So I became my mom, I became my grandma, and I became my sister. And I really thank them because, like I said, you know, I have, everything I have is because of them. My daddy was my truly inspiration, actually. And it's really nice. And I wish my daddy would be here so that he could see his, um, his accomplished, my accomplished. You know, this is for him, for my daddy. He's up, up in the sky.